Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday. We need to take a look at the market and what could be going on this week in terms of content, SBCs, market movements, and all that kind of stuff. We've had the past couple weeks where we haven't had a promo. We haven't had um, a legit you know, pack promo that we had been having a lot of. Uh, so we've kind of had a breather from that, but it's been very SBC heavy these past couple of weeks. It's just heading up to team of the season ea just you know it, it just makes sense for them to try to take some coins off the game and they have hopefully and i think they have been successful in doing that based on the icon sbcs and you know we look at the high rated gold prices all the time they are still very very high so um they're taking a lot of coins off the market they've got people uh interested in the icon sbcs that we had the champions league uh, sbcs that came out last week it was really random. They gave out the team of the group stage, the man of the match players. Um, those SPCs were not very good, so it was obviously just a total coin suck. Um, but we're here where we are now, and we, we move on. And this week presents a new opportunity on the market to, to make some coins, look at investments, and possibly a promo. You know, I mean, this week again, we have Champions League stuff. That's one of the main things that I want to talk about uh, that we could see this week is more Champions League hype more champions league uh content so i want to look at the index live ucls and this is going to be a week where you see a lot of them move just because this is a deciding week where they will get upgraded or where where their card will be quote unquote dead uh for the rest of fifa in terms of the ucl live cards um we'll actually go take a look at the team of the weeks and get into the ucl live squad here in just a second um and look at a few of these but a lot of these cards have not moved really since the first game. Uh, you know, if you look at the Spurs players, if you look at uh, Sterling, some of them have gone up a lot. Fabinho has really gone up a ton. Just a lot of Liverpool hype that is going on. Um, you see, after the first game, he went down to 540, but then the rest of this week, he has climbed back up to 600,000 coins. So he's very high right now. But a guy like Dobinson, a lot of these guys were sold off or sold on after the first game. You see, Dobinson went, went back under 300. But he's really kind of boomed up um, because Spurs do have that lead. Sterling has stayed pretty similar. Uh, you know, his price has stayed basically the same because uh, after the game he dropped, went up to 600, dropped to 520, and he's still you can get him for around 520k. That's a card that I really have been looking at this week, just because I do think that they have a chance over Spurs. Uh, I am a Spurs fan, and it pains me to say it, but they do have a good shot to come back at Spurs. They are at home. They've been playing well. And the loss to Spurs was honestly baffling to me that they that they lost that game. But this week we're going to see a whole new type of, of content with these cards. If you're holding them, again, my recommendation is sell into the hype. I mean, yes, you might miss out on some of the profits of uh, those cards if they win and they get boosted. But um, just the the amount that they could drop in the, in the uh, the event that they would lose. Let's say Spurs end up winning and City loses you're going to see sterling and you're going to see aguero's cards just we know how much the supply these cards actually have um on the market after seeing it happen multiple times this year you know the nacho fernandez the renato sanchez i mean right now on the market there are five agueros but i mean if they lose you're probably going to see a couple pages of this 93 rated aguero card um and it seems like the supply comes out of nowhere with these ucl lives so that's something to be very careful with and that's why i recommend selling into the hype with a lot of these cards just because of the the fact that they they have a ton of supply i think a lot of people just like to hold these cards just because it's betting for them it's risky it's gambling it's a fun way of trading because instead of the player's performance uh you're watching the team and a lot of people have these cards in their teams but they also have them as investments so again this is one that i think you're going to see continue to continue to rise up uh, in the early week. Now, some guys that may be already high, PK at 200k. Um, this card still baffles me at 200k. It is up uh, almost to where he was before uh, they played their first game at Manchester United. That's one that you can keep an eye on as well. And of course, Lingard. I mean, if, if Manchester United can pull off the incredible, the unthinkable, and upset Barcelona, you're going to see some crazy, crazy card prices and uh, with those cards. So that's one thing to kind of keep in mind as well. So just watch these UCL Live cards. They're going to be kind of the main attraction early on in the week. 
um, just because that's what we have to do in the game. That's what we have going on. But the second thing I want to talk about is another player of the month is going to come this week, and it will be Bundesliga. Um, now, obviously, this is not correct. This is the player of the month contenders, but um, I'm going to have to go ahead and find this tweet really fast. But there is a tweet that has released the um, Bundesliga player of the month. The candidates for this month's player of the month. And here it is right here. We're going to take a look at this on Twitter. And I think it's Lewandowski. I think it's James Rodriguez. Um, I think those are the two standouts out of this player of the month. And those are the, the things that are really that are really standing out to me with this one. And you know, the Bundesliga player of the month is so uh, based on voting. That's why I, you know, in the Premier League player of the month, you can vote for who you want to, but it doesn't really make, make a difference. Actually, voting is now closed. Look at this. Voting is closed. Um, I don't know where I can see the nominees. There they are. Lewandowski, Rodriguez, Cruz. Um, it's going to be either Rodriguez, James Rodriguez, or Lewandowski. And to be honest, I'm probably going to lean towards Lewandowski. He got two informs this month, um, and he Bayern have been playing incredible. And uh, so regardless of you know who might be more deserving of the Bundesliga Player of the Month, a lot of times for Bundesliga, the winner is actually fan based the vote uh, because Royce had a player of the month that he won earlier in the year where there were probably some other people who might have actually deserved it more than he did but he was a winner um, of that player of the month so we're going to take a look at this later this week in a separate video talk investments for this uh, if there's stuff that we could possibly get in on in regards to Lewandowski or James Rodriguez player of the month I mean this card right here, if you give this this guy a player of the month boost, it's probably going to be a 95 rated card, 96 maybe. Uh, he's going to have like 95 shooting, upper 80s passing, maybe 90 physical. Um, this guy's team of the season card is going to be nuts. It's going to be nuts. He's four star, four star. He's going to have 90 pace. He's going to have 99 in his shooting stats. He's going to have like 99 strength, 99 heading, 90 upper 90s jumping. This card is going to be insane at the end of the year he's got some sick upgrades this year and this player of the month is going to be no exception so that's one thing to watch uh this week maybe some bundesliga investments if you see any bundesliga guys in this upcoming team of the week that could create an investment opportunity um now i think those sbcs usually drop on friday they've dropped in on random days in before but i do think that that sbc would drop on a friday if it doesn't if it dropped this week before we get a new team of the week this Belfodil card would probably be a decent investment as an inform. I mean, if you're thinking a Lewandowski SBC, I mean, how much is that SBC going to cost? Well, this inform right now on the market is over 700,000 coins. So I'm guessing the SBC would probably be somewhere around this range, a little bit more. I mean, you give them a higher rated card. They, they priced the Mane player of the month, I think, very well. Let me take a look at that, actually. Um, they priced that SBC very well. I know that doesn't really compare to what could be coming for this SBC, but Mane is priced at 334, and that was um, previously, before that SBC came out, that was the price of his Champions League card. So if they're pricing uh, these next Player of the Month SBCs based on their highest rated card in game and a similar price range to that, I'm not saying they are, but that's just what we saw with Mane, um, I would think that you would see a Lewandowski SBC kind of up there in the same realm uh, like 750, 800, 900,000 coins, somewhere in that 700 to 850 range, I think, would be a decent range for this Lewandowski card if he does get player of the month. So that's one thing um, to watch this week. And you're going to see a lot of people that are doing daily objectives this week as well uh, because they made these pretty easy. You're going to have to play some online singles matches with some silver English players. So if you're doing bronze pack method or if you're doing league SBCs um, or you're getting silver packs, definitely definitely watch to see what you're packing because if you pack one of those silver English guys, uh, there's a good chance that they're going for a lot, especially with the EFL Championship players as well. You need some of those guys to get some of these uh, weekly objective players. But this Collins card looks sick. The Max Aarons card looks pretty sick as well. And regardless of whether you think you're going to use these cards or not for more than 10 games, uh, it's pretty easy to just go out and get these cards and... Um, spend you know 30 40 minutes of your day getting a couple of those cards you're going to have those in the club other than that though this week i know i talked about champions league already um 
we could maybe see some more Champions League content, maybe the upgrade SBC, they put that out again. I don't really think that they'll do the same upgrades that they did this past week with the like the premium upgrade. I don't know if they would do that. Um, we haven't got UCL supply back to back for a while now. Um, and in the UCL marquee, marquee matchups, they only had one set of games. So maybe this week we'll have UCL marquee matchups again and have some supply for the blues. Because if you look at the market, these UCL rare cards, let's just look at a random one, for example, Manjukic. These cards are like extinct or just so rare because everybody who had these cards turned them into an SBC. They're just really, really high and inflated right now. So if EA plans to use these cards at any point throughout the rest of the year for SBCs, um, I would think that they would like to supply them again. So that's one thing to watch out for this week is maybe some more supply for the Blues. Uh, we got a lot of supply last week and some of the higher rated cards in price, uh, the higher rated cards are down in price still just because they had that new supply. Um, but that's one thing that to, to keep your eyes out for, to keep watching this week um, with with some of those cards. So this week, again, play the month with um, the Bundesliga possibilities coming at the end of the week. The voting is closed, as we saw on the website, so I'm not entirely sure when that could be released. It could be released midweek if EA was planning to do a promo this weekend. Um, you know, stuff like that. Um, or they could just release it on the weekend on Friday as well. So that's uh, an area to watch. Champions League, whatever SBCs could come with that. Obviously, we don't have to think about icons or icon moments SBCs unless EA goes back on their word. We are not getting any more of those through the entirety of this year, which is a, it's a big bummer, to be honest. Um, but that's just so many SBCs to have in the store. There's already a ton of them already. So I wonder if that played into EA's deciding decision on that. Um, as well. Last thing I want to talk about, possible promo this week. A lot of people have been talking about the Champions League games and the possibility of a Team of the Knockout stage promo. I think that is a warranted uh, kind of thing to think about. I think that's you know definitely something that we could see this week and uh, ways to invest for that. Should you go out and buy Team of the Group stage players like as a, an investment for that? For an SBC, like a guaranteed team in the knockout stage, you're probably going to hear some talk about that this week. Um, I don't really think there's going to be, that's a good reason to invest in, in that. Um, I wouldn't go invest in that kind of stuff. Uh, but that would seem like the most, uh, that would seem like the promo that makes sense the most to get this weekend. Since we haven't had a promo in so long, uh, team, of the, team of the knockout stage would make sense uh, this week. So we'll find out if that happens. The group stage promo was a hit. A lot of people liked it. A lot of people thought that these were rare cards. <laughs> they definitely are not, or excuse me, not rare. They thought they were live items, which they are definitely not. Um, but a lot of people thought that they were. So that's one thing to keep your eyes out for this week as well. It's just the another possibility for team of the knockout stage. Doesn't seem as likely, but um, again, that's just the, the next promo that would make sense in terms of where we're at in the game and um, where we're just kind of at with um, the, the calendar, like the FIFA calendar, where we're at with that. Team of the Week this week looks pretty interesting as well. You saw me looking at Pepe's headliner. I think that has the possibility to get upgraded. They had a huge win over PSG this week. Um, even Pogba had two goals and an assist, or two goals, no assist, both from penalties um, in their win this weekend. So that's one thing to keep you uh, to keep notice of as well. A lot of the headliners are moving. Uh, it could be a pretty solid team of the week. So if you guys played uh, your weekly games, foot champions, uh, GG to you dudes for uh, for playing those games. So um, this week in foot again, kind of like last week. It's just kind of like up in the air. We don't honestly know exactly what's going to be going on. There's always an element of that to to the weeks. Maybe we'll see another um, Champions League SBC, maybe another Europa League SBC player. Um, so definitely be on the ready for those cards. But right now in the game, there's just not a ton, a ton of stuff to do. We have a little, we have a few things, a few little things that kind of keep us going with the, the weekly objectives and the moments SBCs. If you're working on those, uh, we have the man of the matches and packs. Um, so those are some possible investments as well, but we don't even know how long their impacts. So that kind of hurts the investment side of things. Um, but again, just a lot of a lot of SBC stuff recently. It just seems like we're gearing up for another huge promo drop 
um, which would hopefully be team of the season here in the next couple of weeks. So hopefully that comes at the end of April, um, but uh, it should be a decent week on foot. So if you're grinding towards those weekly objectives, more power to you. I'm going to be doing those, uh, getting my Pukey, getting my Collins, and getting my Max Aarons. I'll definitely be working on those because they're just cool, fun cards and uh, SBC items for down the road as well. Um, but who knows, maybe that Collins card, it's going to be freaking nasty in game because uh, last year the, the Maguire card was actually pretty sick. The the Maguire player of the year card, that kind of reminds me of those, those cards that we have in weekly objectives right now. So again, UCL live cards this week could be a good move. Uh, watch out for the UCL marquee matchups as well. Uh, but it's just going to be another decent week to trade. I don't see the market really going anywhere in a direction that I need to talk extensively about. I think it maybe could keep creeping down. People may be liquidating before TOTS. The TOTS hype is growing. The TOTS hype is getting nearer, even though we don't know exactly when that date is. But still, a lot of people seem to be just involved in the game and not worried about market stuff too much. Um, but We'll see what happens this week. It should be an interesting week, as it always is on FIFA with the content they have been putting out. Uh, they've been doing a good job with the content, so um, we always have something to do inside of this game. If you enjoyed the video, though, smash the thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. Um, I'll be active down there with you guys. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.